This video should be a little inspiration for you. I always had the hassle finding some new locations uh, for some video portrait shootings. So this might be a little help. I'm just gonna go through you with some possibilities and also some details right before I jump into the ideas. Let me say up front that it does not always need to be a spacious, big, impressive location. I found myself often in situations where we just found like an interesting corner of a building which was minimalistic, maybe some stairs uh, which are really nice or I don't know, in the nature like one spot under a tree or close to the water where you can shoot a lot experiment be aware that you can create a lot with some minimalistic spaces test out angles to get most out of your location not only shoot straight you can play with heights create a whole nother perspective and that can change the whole vibe of the location let's begin with outdoor locations you can check for public buildings which have nice architecture modern minimalistic buildings are nice maybe some ghetto flavor like um, concrete block buildings. I really like that aesthetic too. What I also really liked are some abandoned buildings from the 60s or 70s I found in Berlin. Some old research buildings. Check for rooftops for some sunsets in your city. Maybe your friends, family, you know someone who has some access to their roof. Also really nice uh, for some late golden hour soft light sessions. What I also really like to go is to just go to some parking lots, use the rooftop over there and also shoot in the parking lots you can shoot there at daytime or at nighttime i think the parking lot aesthetic is also one uh, that comes in really nicely it can be really minimalistic these parking lots are mostly one of the highest buildings at the area so you get a really nice view i would also go in general with some unusual architecture check for unusual architecture in your city or the city you are going to for some bridges older buildings that have some unusual architecture everything that you can make match to the vibe of your shoot. Besides shooting in the city, I really like to go to the nature, uh, go to the next forest, you can choose some lakes in summer, you can combine it with swimming, um, use the water as a background, maybe also some fields. I found some fields where there's more like some sandish, uh, beige vibe to it. Uh, you can really take great shoots uh, at sunset, sunrise, uh, at the sea, at beaches, also maybe at cliffs. If you're living at the sea, I think that's really a plus. So let's move to the indoor locations. I really like to use uh, public buildings, like if it's allowed, a library. Just try out public buildings. Sometimes you're gonna get kicked out. What's also really nice, especially in winter, are botanical gardens. For me, also interesting are tram stations, like the tram in Berlin. Let the model uh, walk around there, play with the train arriving. You don't even have to leave your home though. Uh, you might think, oh, my home is not spacious enough. It's not bright enough. It's not the right shooting location. It's not uh, stylish enough. Let your model sit on the window uh, and you can play with creativity. You can really make a lot even out of like one little corner in your flat. With the right lighting, you can make everything really stand out. You can also take it as a little challenge by creating the right angles, the right composition and get the lighting right even with limited options. Of course, you can rent a studio here in my uh, hometown in Leipzig. Uh, we have uh, many options to rent uh, fairly affordable studios for one or two hours and they are styled to shoot. I used it many times also for some product shoots, for some video portraits. Studio setups are really nice to shoot since they're really bright mostly. Everything is on point. Um, interior wise if you want to have a clean setup with a clean background you can always set that up by yourself at home so in general I can tell you you might be thinking that you have to travel to some foreign countries to uh, get great shots to have the best model or to have the craziest studio setup or the best camera but I can tell you you can really make uh, great cinematic content out of very restricted possibilities so just keep your eyes open in your own city uh, where you could frame a model nicely as I said also be aware uh, working with different heights to get most out of the location learn how to direct the model right to get most of her uh, and the location I made a video on how to direct models check it out here if you're interested you also need to consider day and nighttime some locations are really great for a sunset or sunrise you need to know if light is coming through at a specific time of the day there are spots that glance at sunset like at a sea or a parking lot others like on the field where you get a really nice 
uh, sunrise with some fog in the morning. Other places, on the other hand, reveal their magic at nighttime with a lot of light and reflections. I would also take into consideration to imply objects of your location uh, into your shot. Natural elements like flowers, weed, maybe a fence or some barriers you can put in front of your model to create a more three-dimensional picture. Position your model and the body of your model into a location that it kind of merges with the location. All of this can help to create a more organic and visually interesting scene. Also look for contrasting colors. Contrast between your subject and background can make your shots stand out. You can check for locations that offer contrasting colors and especially consider the outfit of your model and match it to the location so the vibe fits. But besides location, what's also really important that you get Marble Glow, the best diffusion filter on the market. Check out the first link in the description. And don't forget to check out my clothing brand Visual Minds, two shirts, two hoodies, four elements dealing with the perception of art. I hope I could get you inspired a little bit. I wish you a lot of fun on your next shoot. See you in the next one. Peace.